Hey, it's got no RS here from Virtualize Me. Now, I've had a lot of requests about how to use certain elements in a custom form, and so I'm just going to do a bunch of really short, quick videos uh, directly to the point to cover each of them. Uh, this one's going to be covering Value Picker. Now, look, this is just a simple custom form that I have up on the screen here. Uh, we've got image and size, and that's all we need. Now, using Value Picker, we select this, and now is notice that it has a reference type here. So this reference type, um, from what I've been able to discover, is your VRO reference type. So for example, uh, VC, uh, virtual machine. And if I go to values, and say I want to pick a default value, it's brought back all my uh, virtual machines uh, from vCenter, uh, which is cool. Uh, same thing if we go, all right, what about AD user? Go to values, go search, and now it's going to come and give me back all the AD users. All right, cool. Now, what it doesn't do here though is if I'd like to go save um, and go back to my machine here, one on my machine, my catalog, let's have a look here bring it up and it would be great if it would then be able to search those values but that's not what it does um, if we go back now to here and we go okay well let's pick an external source uh, so I want a, an action that brings back an array of AD users in this particular case so I have um, list all oh. yeah there it is and my domain is an input, so I'm just going to put my, yep, and we hit save. Now we go back, have a look at the custom form, and we'll be able to see that all my machines, that all my users have come back here, but what doesn't seem to happen is searching. Uh, seems to be a bit broke. Now, how would you use this? So an example maybe would be, you know, you want to give the user to copy a machine like CPU and memory, uh, and they can pick a machine and copy it. Great. But you can't then pass those values in your form because it's a, a complex object and it doesn't know how to deal with it. Um, so you can't take an action to take the input of this and then as a as a AD user in this instance, and then do like AD, AD user dot name. Um, you can't do that, it'll actually fail. How do I know? Because I tried it. Uh, so what it does do though, when you submit this machine, uh, and as an example, we'll go micro, we'll submit this one. Now that field then becomes available to your software components, uh, as well as gets delivered in your payload of EBS. So if you have a look here, this is the payload that you get, which is your general entity reference. Now from this, you can obviously, you know, pick up the user and all the rest of it. But, you know, dealing with this and dealing with a string just in a traditional dropdown, you know, strings are probably just a slightly tad bit easier. But either way, that's how the value picker works. Now, I'm not sure if it's uh, fully featured yet. Uh, it's got the same uh, constraints and appearances and everything else like all the other widgets or elements um, and that's how you use it anyway nice short video uh, I'll see you on the next one cheers bye